previously on the monsters inside me. The monsters came. He must be God sleepers! Hope you like a girl on top, you disgusting freak. Wild man, the beard Chadwick is off the air. Go away, Joshua. You don't exist. Maybe you two should get to know each other. Leave my daughter be you good for nothing, Parasite. I'm here, everybody. In your ear. And now, the continuation. So I burned all the bodies. I buried them all. He had them piled. Hi. I heard a new friend on the radio. I was far, too far to walk. His voice was so familiar. I know him. I needed to get back to the old colony. You know, I got all the flies out of here. No, it's just useless. We, of course, were losing the war. Hmm. I needed supplies, and to bury my dad. That's why. That's why I'm heading back. My name is, well, let's just call me your guitar man for now. A nice, calming dream voice to help you through your journey. It will be hard to go back. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Monsters Inside Me, starring Olivia Steele, Ty Anderson, and Mandy Nittinger, with the vocal talents of Taylor Ann Ashcraft, JXN, and Dennis Collins Jr., editing by Mandy Nittinger, music by Dane G. Schmidt, and Mandy Nittinger, and Dennis Collins Jr., Written by Jake Sand and co written by Mandy Nittinger. You know, I walked a few miles in the cool air today. The scenery was nice and the trees everywhere. But I came across the wooden sign. <laughs> the sign read King Sleeper Territory. Now living in the King Sleeper territory. Hmm. Scary. Come on, you know him. He sounds like a scumbag. Oh, <laughs> maybe you do know him then. I swear, I really don't know. He was good, even though he was in and out of trouble. He loved us, Jules. He loved us a lot. You will know who he is, and in time, you'll figure it out. We'll have to move on. You, um, see... I don't know about you, Baldy, but I'm not going anywhere. You can't stop me. I'm here to support her. That's my job. Your job is to be a parasitic piece of... Just stuff it, okay? God, you're cranky. There's the old house we lived in before the colony. It's all burnt to the ground now. Nothing left but memories. Daddy, what kind of car did you used to have? 1968 Camaro. It was a dark, beautiful baby blue with bucket seats, Julie. How did you meet Daddy? Oh, (laughs) a friend of mine named Joan had a boyfriend who had a friend. She told me I might be interested in him. We met at Mark's Drive-In, and I was telling my ex-boyfriend, in the nicest way, to get a life. (laughs) You used adult words, didn't you, Mommy? It's okay, I have heard them at school. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm not bad. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you have, have you? Well, me and your father just sat for a while, 
He told me he was just finishing his term in the military and <laughs> that he was a drummer in a band. He, of course, was just full of a bunch of hot air. This place has too many memories. We got about two more hours of daylight left, and then I'm gonna hit the old hay, which is right next to my equipment. Uh, hold on. Let me move some of that real quick. That's good, yeah. Alright, that's good. I moved a few things around. Looks pretty nice. You know, it's not as good as my old Winnebago. I remember someone I used to know had a Winnebago. But who? I made it to the wall. I turned off the radio so I wouldn't attract any unwanted attention. forget altogether. I don't need that aggravation. Our old rundown colony home. I had to irrigate a small clan of sleepers. Consider this an eviction notice, screwheads. <laughs> Coming back again hurts. I can't stop hearing Dad screaming at me to kill him. Kill me. Do it now. His voice stabbing my heart. Sometimes... Sometimes I blame myself. No. No, it never would have happened if you didn't bring the infection home with you, Dad. No! You're, you're right, Julie. Don't blame yourself now. It, it was all me. I knew I shouldn't have come, but I did. I, I didn't want to die alone. I'm sorry. It was so selfish and stupid. Aw, what a cute little family reunion. Enough before you make me sick. Put out, Catelyn, before I leave you under an airplane again. Caitlin! I'll kill you! I'm quivering with fear. It's Catelyn, by the way. I thought you ought to know that. Anyway, you've got nothing on me, Embers. Just you try. Oh, wait! You can't! Because we're already dead, idiot. But I had good memories, too. As I walked past the plastic drum of rationed food that the colony shared, I stopped in front of the old iron stove and remembered. Daddy, could you teach me how to cook? Okay. But no magic chef stuff. No adding the kitchen sink, the table, or things like that. Jules, you must be patient. All right, I will, Dad. No matter what you make, add just a little Italian seasoning. And what else do I do? Figure eight. Figure eight? Stir it. Always stir in the figure eight. Like this. Not all bad memories. Looking around, I saw our makeshift dining table with Dad's tools and bottles of dusty flat pop. Unopened cardboard boxes sat next to the old metal bookshelf. 
Man, what a dumpster fire. No wonder he wanted to die. Shut up. I just need to get my dad's body and... He's... He's gone. Thanks for watching another episode of The Monsters Inside Me, starring Olivia Steele, Ty Anderson, Dennis Collins Jr., and Mandy Nittinger, with the vocal talents of Taylor Ann Ashcraft and Jay Accent. Music by Dane Schmidt and Dennis Collins Jr. Editing by Mandy Nittinger. And co-written by Mandy Nittinger. Remember to stop defacing property and grab a hold of that like button. And yank as hard as you can. Subscribe, follow us on Facebook, and have a nice day. Oh! <laughs> I just slammed my knee against the desk.